Alright, there's another one running into problems as far as the back windows and whatnot. Anyway, that's my meter friend and eliminating all this stuff, that meter. Well, that my boy helping me, but... Alrighty. I didn't think mine had a safety switch because I couldn't find it. But, up in here, see if I can get the light to show up on it. Alright. I can get this going here. Alright, see that? Right there. I just made me a jumper for that. That's not supposed to be like that. I just made a jumper. It's got the yellow wire on it. That's the plug that goes to this here is the plug that goes to the safety switch. So you can see it here. I just made me a quick short jumper so that way the safety switch is jumped out so I can do my work that I need to do on it. Anyway, that safety switch is behind that rail right there that connector without the of course without the jumper and it connects right in behind this rail where the lock mechanism is so when the lock mechanism is closed it sends that little circuit across there telling it that it's okay for the window to operate and operate and stuff like that but anyway if the window is not if the doors if the gate's not shut it won't let you do it all right you can't see it but that mechanism is just a, got a two inch long plastic piece and it's literally right behind where you're seeing me looking at right there. So you got the the key switch right straight across, right straight across from it, right behind the window track is where that safety switch is. 